with an ex-WWE star facing additional accusations and more. This is Wrestling Rambles. My name is John and you're watching the Wrestling Report. Before we move on, make sure you subscribe to Wrestling Rambles with notifications on and don't forget to like the video. At the Backlash press conference following the event, Cody Rhodes, after a successful title defense over AJ Styles, said this regarding a next potential opponent for him. LA Knight is somebody that I look at because I get it, it's two good guys. I understand that. There is a flavor there. There is something about it. When you have that fever, you want to know. I'm the man. No, I'm the man. All that macho, toxic, alpha stuff that I still have a bit of, I suppose. Taking to X, the Nature Boy Ric Flair noted how he had been kicked out of a restaurant, writing, I spent $1,500 at Pisano's SFP to be disrespected more than I ever have in my entire life. After taking 20 pictures with customers and staff, I was asked to leave because of an issue I had with the kitchen manager taking too long in the bathroom. I would highly recommend that anyone who wants to enjoy a relaxing time in Gainesville at a nice restaurant to never visit this place. Speaking of social media, Seamus would delete a post on X that compared Gunter to Adolf Hitler, writing, hmm, an Austrian with a funny haircut, but a thing for military-style coats, proclaims superiority over others, hangs out with the Germans, and betrays his Italian ally. As he is set to star in an MMA movie, The Rock posted this video of his first day of training to Instagram. He also wrote, Day 1 MMA training camp, preparing for Smashing Machine. I'm learning daily and it's been a very humbling, intense, and motivating journey into this world of combat and becoming Mark Kerr, the two-time UFC heavyweight tournament champion, World Valley Tudo champion. I'm a hard worker, but I realized that I'd have to work harder with this role than anything I've ever worked for in my life. This physicality is just one part of the larger journey that is truly a team effort. Growing and grateful, day one. Explaining why WWE will hold WrestleMania next year during Easter weekend, Ringside News wrote that WWE's decision to hold WrestleMania 41 in late April, specifically on April 19th and 20th, at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada, was officially announced during the Kentucky Derby. This announcement came as a surprise to some, as Minnesota was initially considered the frontrunner to host the weekend's events. In addition to WrestleMania itself, WWE will host a series of events throughout the weekend, including the World Fan Access event, SmackDown, the Hall of Fame, NXT, and Monday Night Raw. This scheduling change also coincides with Easter weekend, prompting questions from fans about the timing of the event. Dave Meltzer shed light on the reasoning behind WWE's decision during a discussion on Wrestling Observer Radio. According to Meltzer, Las Vegas was keen on hosting WrestleMania during a traditionally slower weekend for tourism. By hosting the event during Easter weekend, which typically sees fewer tourists, Las Vegas hoped to attract a larger crowd and boost tourism numbers. Meltzer also noted that WWE wanted to avoid conflicting with other major events such as the Final Four, which influenced the decision to hold WrestleMania in late April rather than earlier in the month. While WWE has traditionally avoided scheduling events on Easter weekend, the opportunity presented by Las Vegas' interest in hosting the event during this time frame led to the scheduling decision. Overall, the combination of Las Vegas' desire to boost tourism during a slower weekend and WWE's efforts to avoid conflicting with other major events contributed to the decision to hold WrestleMania 41 on Easter weekend at Allegiant Stadium.
for an update on the QR codes that are seemingly related to the return of Bo Dallas in WWE. Ringside News wrote that according to PW Insider, the QR codes and production glitches seen on WWE programming are all building up to the introduction of a new group connected to Bray Wyatt's intellectual property. This new faction is said to include Bo Dallas, Nikki Cross, Dexter Loomis, Joe Gacy, and Eric Rowan. The report stated all of the QR codes on WWE programming of late are leading as you may have surmised to a new group that will play off of the Bray Wyatt intellectual property this was also the phone message QR code from backlash do you know the story of the shepherd and the lost sheep the shepherd left 99 others to search for the one sheep that had gone missing she rejoiced when he found it but what happened when my precious sheep went missing none of you cared their families didn't care their friends didn't care. You let the darkness take them. Left them shackled in hell all alone. But I set them free. They are my family now. And we will do anything to protect our family. I can't wait for you to see what they've become. It's beautiful. As Tonga Loa debuted for WWE at the Backlash event, helping his brother and Solo Sokoa defeat Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, details on his WWE signing would be noted on Wrestling Observer Radio. Tonga Loa's deal and Tamatonga's were actually together. It's just that with Tonga Loa, it didn't get out because New Japan never announced his contract expiring. They never gave him a farewell. WWE obviously never announces anything like this, but this is not like something from the last two weeks weeks this deal was decided on months ago Triple H would be asked about Drew Gulak's WWE departure at the press conference following backlash and if it relates to the Ronda Rousey accusations here's the clip and it did uh, Luca Sharpie of Ten Count Media um, I just wanted to ask you Fightful and PW Insider reported that Drew Gulak was released by WWE. I just wanted uh, you to uh, clarify on the situation if that was true. And um, is it um, is there anything to do with uh, Ronda Rousey's um, accusation about uh, sexual? Uh, uh well, f first of all, if you're going to cite news sources, pick good ones. That's where I would start. Credible, really, maybe. Um, yeah. We release talent all the time. We have... NFL releases four or 500 people a year, players a year. We release talent all the time. It's a part of what we do. You can't just... Cannot just hire people, bring them in, keep hiring more people, and just keep bringing them in. So uh, an unfortunate part of the job is talent get released. Can I say that he was released? He was not released. His contract was just not renewed. Staying on the topic of Gulak, he is facing more accusations from his time in WWE with Ringside News noting that the recent departure of Drew Gulak from WWE has brought to light concerning allegations from some WWE NXT talents who have labeled him as a bully known for targeting real injuries during matches. Initially reported as part of several NXT talent releases by WWE, Triple H clarified that Gulak's departure is not a release, but rather his contract is not being renewed nude, leading to his exit from the company. Gulak's departure follows accusations made against him by Ronda Rousey, and now additional reports have surfaced regarding negative interactions with him. In a new report from Fightful Select, multiple NXT talents expressed to Corey Brennan that Gulak had exhibited bullying behavior and had specifically targeted their pre-existing injuries during matches. Talent claimed that Gulak would often focus on injuries during matches, with one instance cited where he allegedly 
apparently purposefully re-dislocated a previously dislocated finger of an opponent. Another claim suggested that Gulak would intimidate talent into not reporting such incidents. The report also highlighted an incident from last year where Shawn Michaels, along with other coaches at NXT, reportedly verbally reprimanded Gulak for intentionally spiking an opponent during a match. Describing Gulak's behavior, one talent referred to him as odd and stated that he would test talent to gauge their response to his bullying tactics. It's important to note that Gulak reportedly expressed a desire to remain with the company and his departure was ultimately a decision made by WWE, not by Gulak himself. PW Insider corroborated this information, affirming that Gulak's departure was not initiated by him. And this was your Pro Wrestling News Update. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all later.